and spirit. Each poem tells a story of a life exceptionally lived. Thank you for sharing this evening with us, an evening to reflect on Max's work, his hugs, his hugeness of heart, and his unwavering ethical code. For reincarnation is a true expression of Max's imagination. We especially want to thank Alice Quinn. Where is Alice? Oh, okay, you moved. Uh, and her team, especially Lauren, for working with us so closely to ensure this evening reflects Max's legacy in a way that is nice for us as a family. Alice, you put in so much time and effort and you put up with my anxieties and neuroses, as Max would put it, say, <laughs> to create a special evening and a proper tribute to Max and four reincarnations. I can see why Max adored and respected you. I must say, you're a very patient woman. Thank you. A huge thanks to you, Timothy Donnelly, Max's teacher, mentor, and friend. And to Dottie, is she here? Where are you? Hi, Donnie. <laughs> and to Dottie um, Lasky, you brought color into Max's life and his poetry. Thank you for collaborating on creating this evening and for teaching Max and loving him so well. I love you both. Timothy, when you speak about Max, you're almost as colorful as Max is. <laughs> Max Genta sticks out in my memory so fondly as it describes Max in a word. And Donnie, the exercises you gave him while he was in Colombia, prancing around the room looking for some object, never knew what, with the goal of writing about something which you assigned to him. Thank you, Jen Benka, for collaborating tonight, as well as for giving Max his first poetry internship. And thank you, Bill Zabel, for making it happen. I would also like to thank Sarah Rule, whom Max adores. Sarah, you're one of a kind teacher, mentor, close friend, soup maven, in-house Buddhist consultant, and boot provider. <laughs> Victoria and I adore you and love having the chance to spend time with you now standing in for Max. Jean Valentine, thank you for selecting Max for the 2014 Chapbook Award. Aeons is such a meaningful and important Max creation. It takes a village. Daniel Slager, what can we say? You gave Max the will to fight for extra months and the will to live and create. When you accepted his book for publication, you turned all the bright Max lights on. It completely transformed Max's mood and will to fight. Knowing his book is actually being published was a true unexpected gift. You then proceeded to work with Max's wishes so closely and miraculously accelerated the book's publication date so Max can see his book. Well, he did see the galley proof, and Victoria and I each had an inscribed copy. Max was proud, pleased, and grateful. The book is everything he imagined, and Max has a huge imagination, <laughs> and more. We're deeply grateful to you for and your team. The book is so very beautiful in every way, and it's Max's legacy to us, his family. To all the readers tonight, each of you played a special role in Max's life. We love you and are grateful for you, hold you tightly in our hearts. The community of artists in this room is unbelievably cohesive. We've never experienced a group of people so dedicated to one another and each other's work. Some of you have been mentioned. Kave, you've been incredible. This is not your work and you go around the country advocating for it and educating people about it, bringing it to light. Alan Ziegler, for all the years that you gave to Max in Colombia, for all of your guidance, and her for giving him that job that meant so much to him at Parnassus and allowed him to feel his competency instead of his illness at a very tough time, and for the leather jacket I'm now sporting too. <laughs> <laughs> a huge shout out and thanks to you. And to Elizabeth Metzger, Max's dearest friend, who sadly could not join us tonight, we still want to say we're eternally grateful to her and she's always with us in our heart. Thank you for being here with us tonight.